Hello, this is Dr. Astik Biswas from the Department of EC, uh, in EVS Engineering College. Today, I am going to show the concept of timing diagram of 8085 instructions. So, before going into the details, we need to understand what is one byte instruction. two byte instruction and what is three byte instruction basically 8085 instruction set have up to three byte of instruction if we say the instruction is like move a comma b then it is known as it is one byte instruction if instruction is MBI B then it is 2 byte instruction because this is for opcode and this is for data similarly there is only opcode an example of 3 byte instruction is code and this is 16 bit or 2 bit 2 byte data so total 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 3 byte so what is timing diagram It is the sequence of events going inside the microprocessor. Sequence of event means address generation. Control signal generation and data transfer. As we know, 8085 has 16 address lines. A15 to A8 and AD7 to AD0. So, what I basically want to say you this is the higher order address, higher order address. This is the multiplexed address and data bus. So, obviously, microprocessor need to be generate a control signal to demultiplex the address bus and data bus. So, at what timing the, the, this line will be work as the address bus and what time it will work as the data bus. So, I want to demonstrate it by the, by the uh, help of the timing diagram. The simplicity I am I want to start with the instruction move a comma b assume the opcode is a p I am not sure about that assume the opcode of move a comma b is a p and the instruction is save the memory location 4030h so how the instruction is going to be execute uh, going to be uh, read by the microprocessor from the memory location and going to be executed at what timing i want to demonstrate it via the timing diagram 
so what is timing diagram we know in x1 and x2 of 8085 is connected with crystal oscillator to supply the desired clock frequency to the 8085 so t equal to we can say 1 by f this is known as the time state the subdivision of this is a minimum minimal unit of the 8085 instruction set or uh, 8085 timing diagram this is the t state subdivision of the one operation t equal to 1 by f I'm suppose T1, T2, T3, T4. In the T1, in the T1, at first, suppose there is in this 4030 is address, this is the 16 bit. address and if e is the of code which is going to be transferred to the microprocessor by the by the data bus in 4030 or uh, in 40 this is the this uh, address the upper order upper order address will be transferred to my uh, uh, upper order address will be carried by the higher order address line A15 to A8 and this lower order is carried by the lower order address line A7 to A0 the upper the higher order address line is going to be available on the higher order address bus for the first three for the first three time state as we can see first three time state then to demultiplex the because now we need to microprocessor need to transfer the lower order address 30 via the multiplexed address and data line now because this 30 is the address so at that time this line should be work as the lower order address line so microprocessor need to demultiplex this line so at the t1 at the time t1 a signal named as ale address let enable will be activated and the and at that time this line and that time for t1 only the lower order address in that case 30 is going to be latched on the lower order address line and because because now this is this line is working as the lower order address line so the name of the line is ad7 to ad0 after t1 this is this is going to be work as the data line so after address 4030 is complete address now microprocessor microprocessor have the address 40 Microprocessor place the address 60 bit address over the address lines 4030. Now, microprocessor need to generate a control signal for the read operation because microprocessor is going to read this instruction from the memory. So, microprocessor need to generate a read bar or a read control signal 
we uh, to read the opcode from the memory and read var the signal name the read var will be going to be low for the second and third time state second and third time state this is on one this is one two three at that time the data bus will carry the data in that case data is a p the, the content of the memory location a p will be placed on the data bus and is going to be read by the micro processor and another thing because this is a memory operation and any instruction is is uh, going to is stored in the memory location and the 16 bit address is used was because uh, so this location is a memory operation this operation there so io m bar line goes low for the entire t state or entire timing diagram because it is indicates it is a memory operation at the time of t4 there it is unspecified at the time of t4 up to t3 the all the all uh, the whole task of uh, getting data from the memory location and read operation is complete up to t3 so why we need t4 t4 needed the only reason is at this time t4 microprocessor will decode the opcode opcode decode means it will decode or it will it will get um, it will understand the is uh, of course decode the of course and perform the required operation that's why the t4 is required as a additional clock cycle so total this is known as the instruction cycle because this four time state is required to complete the executing of this instruction move a comma b assume operating frequency is 2 megahertz then t equal to 0.5 microsecond then to complete this instruction microprocessor will take 0.5 into 4 means 2 microsecond okay and another thing to complete the one operation of the instruction is known as the machine cycle uh, if we take the example of two byte instruction then generally it will take two machine cycle generally but it depends depends on the operation but generally it will take the two machine cycle to complete the one instruction cycle 